72. 72 tone Terramere. This is after we did it, now we're going to play it. come later and by this swooping this chirping of the frequencies you can do a calculation of the distance it's used all the time for pulsars and when you use that measure for these you get distances that are uh, billions and billions of flight you already seem to be denying all those well, some people might call them fantasists who believe that there could be extraterrestrial life, but one of those was the great British astronomer Patrick Moore. He said, given the millions of galaxies and the millions of stars in every galaxy, he believed that somewhere, somewhere in the universe, there should be extraterrestrial life. We were looking at those uh, maps of where these bursts have come from, but could it possibly be, if it's a pattern, could it be some sort of signal, and is there a computer program that exists that might possibly be able to interpret such a signal? And astronomers have been trying to figure out where some very strange radio waves seemingly are coming from. Four mystery intergalactic radio signals were detected. Radio signals, that's what they appear to be, are called fast radio bursts, and it's been suggested that the burst likely came from a source near the constellation Aquarius, about 5.5 billion light years away. Astronomers and other scientists are trying to explain a series of mysterious bursts of radio waves which may have been emitted from far outside our galaxy. Telescopes have been detecting these so-called fast radio bursts for the past 14 years. And remarkably, they have a very specific pattern. There's yet no definitive explanation. So these are intergalactic radio bursts, but scientists have no idea where they came from. Sounds like from what we've been reading about this, 12 ground and space telescopes conducted observations on these other wavelengths that have been found, including infrared, ultraviolet, x-ray, and visible light. And is this ET, UFO, alien kind of type stuff? Mystery of strange radio bursts are coming from outer space. Now, they are, they just, they last only milliseconds even. They emitted as much energy as the sun emits in 300,000 years. Tell me about the new signal, because you're saying that it, it occurred in patterns, correct? It, it was, um, it's, it's described as being like a radio signal, but... Scientists are searching for signs of intelligent extraterrestrial life. They're certainly excited. So what could they be? Professor John Learned uh, is from the physics department of the University of Hawaii. He's been studying the radio bursts. The special thing about them that has the astronomers so excited is that they have something called dispersion measure. It's a, it's a swooping of the frequencies of a burst, which would generally be very short and lined up, but in fact the fast, the higher frequencies come first and the lower frequencies come later, and by this swooping, this chirping of the frequencies, you can do a calculation of the distance. It's used all the time for pulsars, and when you use that measure for these, you get distances that are uh, billions and billions of light years away. 
detected these millisecond bursts between February 2011 and ooh, February 2011 and January 2012. The, the bigger the delay, the further away the source must be. And so what that implied to us was that this source was was well beyond the uh, the Milky Way galaxy. That's what it sounds. And have no idea what caused them. It's incredibly bright, and b the amount of dispersion, the, the total delay that we saw from top to bottom was far greater than, than we uh, were expecting for the pulsars in that area. Okay, so when you say there was a delay, are these delays that have a constant amount of time between them? So they have a few ideas. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the ideas is it's a brand new high energy astrophysical event, which means, I don't know. Yeah. In terms of the, the wide gamut of things, and certainly there's a wide gamut of all the things that this could include. Um, you know. What could we be seeing through this? Could this possibly be uh, intelligent life sending a signal, or is it more likely to be, to be what? First, cryptic messages and mathematical multiples, all coming from a mysterious source in space. And they are therefore very far, and therefore they would have to be very energetic. And so they're strange creatures, they're not like anything else we've seen and people would love to know more about them, if indeed they are at great distances. What are galactic signals, which is pretty crazy. I mean, that's really a high-powered um, data collection there. Astronomers using the CSIRO's Giant Parkes Radio Telescope have uncovered a population of radio bursts from the distant universe. 
As the bursts strike the telescope, they appear first at short wavelengths, then progressively sweep to longer ones over the course of about a second. In this animation, this is represented by the blue to red progression of the pulse as it strikes the sky. Astronomers can remove this delay and reconstruct the original pulse that would have been emanated from deep space over 10 billion years ago.